So this is how you create a freebie in Squarespace and then deliver it also in Squarespace. So first of all, create your freebie and then you have to house it somewhere. Um, so this is the freebie and currently it is housed under um, pages and then the page is like a blog template style guide. Uh, this is just the way that uh, this particular client did it, but there's lots of different ways to word house it. So what I did is when I, I went into the style guide and I made the URL really, really long so that it wouldn't really be something that somebody would search for. As you can see, really long URL. So then you need to create a section of your website where you promote it. So on the home page, edit, add section. This is the section I created. I just created this little graphic in Canva. Um, it's just, you know, pulled two, two pages out of the style guide and made the background match and then downloaded it as a image and put it right there, add some text. Um, we could even add a little bit more text if we wanted, kind of explaining what this is all about. And then a newsletter block. So you just add a block, grab that, drag it. You can design it however you want. So I didn't want the title. I could have had a title and stuff, but I didn't want that. I didn't want a description. Do you want to say we respect your privacy? I like to require the name field because then if you um, like later are creating email marketing campaigns and you want to like, it's better to like have their name in an email for conversion reasons. So I always have that. And then the storage is going to be um, Squarespace. Obviously, if you are using MailChimp or something, you can connect that. But since we're using Squarespace, we are going to have it go there. It's currently in default going to the mailing list. Um, default, I'll want to change that because it's going to be a very specific email. So then make sure you save everything. Check it on mobile, make sure it looks good. And then we're gonna come over to marketing, email campaigns. And I wanna create an automation so if somebody puts in their email, they automatically get this. So you need to select the higher plan in order to have an automa automation, um, which allows you to do a ton of emails, but really the automation is what I want. So once that's selected, you can create that automation. And I'll go back into that. We're gonna go back really quick. Another aspect is to go into mailing list. And this is what I was talking about the default. So I am going to have a mailing list that is for what to, wait, we'll call it style guide. So now if people go, they'll go into that email list. And we'll go back to the home and make sure that that is all connected. So go down like this. Okay, so now if somebody were to put in their email, they would get put in the style guide grouping. Um, and then when I set up that automation, that'll work as well. But if you ever wanted to, you know, if you have different types of um, photography clients, let's say you can have them go like wedding clients. And so you're, you're separating them so that you're delivering them emails that is, are related to what they're interested in. All right, let's go and create that automation. So we'll go to marketing, email campaigns, automations, create campaign, and um, you can choose what type of campaign. We are going to do reward. 
And then we will, so you can do one of these templates. Um, let's do, come on, God. it doesn't really matter. Like we can make it look however we want, but just for the sake of showing you, we'll use this template. And this download PDF button is where we need to put the link. So this is the style guide link. Remember I told you make it, make the link pretty like long and difficult so that it's not really a searchable thing. So here's that style guide. Perfect, copy it. And save it. I'm gonna go back in and just edit all of that later. But of course you want to, this is where I talk about, you know, having the subscriber's first name is valuable for conversion reasons. So I'm going to leave that as is, but that's, again, that button needs to be linking to, this will be the first email that they receive. All right. So, Coming over here to this, this is all style stuff. If you want to edit that with your colors, go ahead. I would obviously suggest that. You could even do that. Now let's go to email, automation, mailing list, connecting it to the style guide, timing, I want it to be immediate. So after a person subscribes, it's when they will go with that email list. Okay, that all looks great. You want to add, this is the subject. So um, here's your style guide. This is like the preview text that is after. Um, so just adding a little bit of something there as well is always a good idea. Um, and this is if you want to, you know, change out like how, so I, I usually have my own name as the sender name. I just feel like it's more like authentic than having my business name. I'm pretty sure you need to add a legal address in order to comply with laws. So just make sure you do that and then activate automation. And then once you've entered in your email and your address, you'll get to this page and it'll have the automation all set up. And ready to go. So a couple just things to remind you of. Make sure that you have um, added that little, you know, style guide. That link is what is connecting everything. And then also just make sure that you check it on mobile um, with this version of Squarespace. Um, Squarespace, what is it called? I'm losing my brain right now. But uh, a lot of times with mobile, things will not look always right. For example, I want this text up higher. So just make sure you check everything and then you can click save and it'll be all ready to go. If you guys have any other questions about Squarespace or want any tutorials, please let me know, know but I'm under this video. And as always, when you subscribe to this channel, it helps me so, so much with creating content and just encouraging me. So I thank you for doing that.